On the bench today is a System 9 Space Shuttle MPU. Had some alkaline corrosion up here that I've abated, and uh, the LS10 over here had some corrosion on the leg, so I took care of that too. So let's boot it up. And it boots up fine. It's got 10 credits on it. It's oscillating between the high score to date and, and the credits, and the lamp matrix is firing, and only the coin lockout uh, solenoid is engaged so let's put it into test first test is display test and everything's working just fine there next test I believe is sound test some of the sounds are missing because the client didn't include the sound board in the shipment, so I jumpered W10 there temporarily. Next test is lamp test. And you can see that all the lamps in the matrix are working just fine. Next test is solenoid test. And it goes through the 16 controlled solenoids one at a time. I've also tested the special solenoids on System 9s. It's a uh, reflexive system so they do work and then the next test is switch test and it's telling me the switch 11 and 12 are closed so I'm going to open those on my tester and now everything's open switch 1 2 3 etc now the client reported a problem with I believe column two, let's see, you know, switches seven, 15, et cetera. That's, I'm sorry, row seven. Those all work fine and only indicate a single switch closure. So I cannot explain what is going on uh, from a board perspective here. Everything appears to be working just fine. I went through all these switches before. Here's the last switch is 49, which uh, System 9 games will only report on switches that are actually in the game. So 49 is the last switch. And the next, well, that's the end of the test. Now it goes back into the audits and I'll cycle through those and the board will reboot. And you can see the lamp matrix is cranking away and nothing on these coils so everything on this board appears to be working fine.